All right, I'm giving the Lifetime Achievement Award. This is the toughest award to get here. Uh, when Frank Gilroy was 18 years old, he was in Patton's Third Army in uh, Europe right after D-Day. He was in a reconnaissance unit. And uh, what they did was they got up every morning and they got in a Jeep and they would drive out from the front lines uh, until they made contact with the enemy. And uh, he wasn't a writer then. He didn't know any writers. He'd never met a writer. I don't think he even was even much of a reader at that point. And he really, I think, had no idea that uh, driving out away from the front lines into the wilderness until someone started shooting at you would be the perfect preparation for the award he is about to receive here this evening. Uh, he came back from that and he came to the Bronx, back home to the Bronx, and he, uh, he had the GI Bill and he had a bankroll from shooting craps, and that was about all he had. And he lied his way into Dartmouth College, literally. And in 1947, he took a playwriting class there, and he discovered where he belonged. And about a year later, he was in production, and he stayed in production until now. He's still in production. He has uh, triumphed, and he's had his ass kicked in public. He has written originals, adaptations, Episodes, pilots, sketches, pitches, one acts, long form, poetry, novels, uh, and everything in between. He's won the Pulitzer Prize. He's been nominated for the Academy Award. He was the president of the Dramatist Guild. Uh, far too many things to, uh, to list here in this, uh, in this evening. We all live by our wits. I mean, that's what we do. Uh, there's a room and a chair, and you have your imagination and your fears and everything you know, and that's it. And most people can't even comprehend what that is. And some people do it once, and they stop, or they get their ass kicked, and they can't do it again. And some people get into a Jeep every morning, and they drive out until someone starts shooting at them. And they get up, and they do it again the next day. Frank Gilroy is 85 years old. He just signed with a new agent a month ago. He's going <laughs> to, seriously. Called me up and said, I'm signing agency papers. Um, he's got a play reading of a new play in two weeks. Um, he has been putting his ass in the chair and driving out into the wilderness and making shit up and making a living at it and being a decent and committed member of the tribe for over 60 years. I am truly proud and honored to present the Ian McClellan Hunter Award for Lifetime Achievement in Writing to Frank D. Gilroy.